Hey guys, how we doing? So I want to engrave two images on a mirror. My dog looks like this dog right here. And his name is Milo. Um, then I have another image that I'm going to import. And it's this one. And this dog looks like my pepper. <laughs> they are just so adorable, guys. And this is my pepper. This is my side girl. She come with me everywhere. So I have, I think it's a 12 by 14 inch mirror. And I want to add both of these images onto that mirror and engrave it. I'm going to downsize these two images to go onto my mirror. And then we're going to start to engrave it. So, let me get started. So I added my mirror inside the Glowforge. Now, let me bring it down. Now, I want to take both of my images and I want to size them down to fit the mirror. Now, this mirror that I'm going to engrave... It is a 12 by 14. So, okay, so now I wanna take both of these and I wanna horizontally flip them. I got the settings where I want it. And let me bring this down some. And that looks good. So now I'm going to go to my Glowforge and I'm going to press the button. And then we're going to see how this worked out. Okay, so to engrave this image, we're going to have to go with 850 speed. Full power. And 270 lines per inch. And then I'm going to do the same for Pepper. Manual, 850, full power, 270. Now, next thing I wanna do, I wanna add the names to the top. So, I have Milo. And pepper. Okay, guys, so I got all the names set and ready. I got my settings in. This is going to take about two hours and 27 minutes. So let's go press the button and get this Mama Jamma started. Okay, guys, so I got my Glowforge or set up and it is ready to start engraving. So I'm going to press go and start the process. <laughs> These two doggy images that I got favor so much my dogs. So I have two Shih Tzus and they're about eight years old. Well, they'll be eight years old and they are like the best things that ever came into our lives. I so love my dogs. Okay guys, so there goes one side of the image. And I'll be back when the other side is all done. I still have an hour left. Okay guys, there goes my mirror engraved, it's all done. Okay, so let's head back to the table and let's see how this came out. Okay guys, so I'm back at the table and this is what it looks like. So right now there's a lot of debris on it, as you can see a lot of dust, so what I want to do is bring in this towel and i have these wipes and let's clean this up real quick as you can see you see all the soot so you want to definitely take that off now i'll be forgetting in the glow forge that after you press print 
it resizes itself in the in the software and I thought that I put it I did put it the size of the mirror but when I pressed start it kind of made it bigger after I put the settings in of the size so it kind of it did not do the whole entire thing over here on the sides so I'm just missing just a tad bit on this side and just a tad bit on this side. But overall, it came out cute. And I'm going to insert some pictures of my dog so you guys can see how much they favor. At least to me, I think they do. Okay. So now let's come in with the wipe. And now let's wipe this down. And as you can see, it's still dirty. Okay, so after cleaning it, this is what it looks like. Now let's turn it around. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me put it this way. This came out so super cute. There it goes. That is Pepper. And I put her name on the top. I should have put her date of birth. June 6, 2016. And there goes Milo. And I'm telling you guys... These look just like my dogs. This came out so cute. So now you, all you have to do is just put it on a stand. I was thinking about getting a glass cutter and cutting it in half. But I decided, why do that? Just leave it as one. I can either put this on a picture frame. This mirror, it is a size 12 by 14. So they have picture frames out there or and if I don't find one that fits this I can always have my husband make one but guys you see how cute this is the only thing about mirrors it's hard to show off oh my god so, guys, there goes my project. I really hope you guys enjoy. Now, if you want to get a little bit more technical and stuff like that and enhance it, you can always add a piece of cardstock to the back. And as you can see, it enhances it. And that's actually really pretty. You see how it brings out the color and the design of the mirror. Good idea, guys. Okay, so there goes my project, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, definitely thumbs up. Let me know what you think. I will insert some pictures in here to show you how similar my dogs look. And... Until next time, guys, keep on crafting. Bye now. So this is Pepper right here, and she is going to be eight years old. And this is my Milo. Look at how cute and adorable he is. I just love them both. Milo and Pepper are brother and sister. So you can imagine the bond that they have. So thank you so much for watching. And you guys stay crafting. Bye now.